U.S. President Barack Obama was re-elected to a second four-year term this week, uh, primarily because of a strong voter turnout from the same Democratic coalition uh, that helped to elect him four years ago. That's women, minorities, and young people. VOA National Correspondent Jim Malone has the story. Obama supporters celebrate a second term on the streets of Washington. The diverse and youthful voting coalition behind President Obama was on full display at an election night watch party at a nearby bistro. The president benefited from a strong turnout among women, African Americans, Hispanics and younger voters, says historian Alan Lickman. Women and minorities put Barack Obama over the top. And there should be a big, huge red letter warning sign for Republicans that they can't win just with their white Protestant base. We're increasingly becoming a non-white nation. The crowd at the Romney election party in Washington was predominantly white and universally disappointed. Mr. Romney won a majority of white voters in the election, but had less success in winning over women younger people and minority voters. Republican strategist Ford O'Connell says that will have to change. I think the Republicans have to recognize that they have to get beyond their echo chamber and actually help make inroads with other groups because there's a lot of preconceived notions about Republicans that some minority groups harbor and it's up to Republicans to reach out and sort of change that perception. When Ronald Reagan won the presidency in 1980, white voters made up 85 percent of the electorate. This year, they only made up 72 percent. In addition to minority voters, Republicans face a major challenge in drawing more support from younger voters, says pollster Scott Rasmussen. There is a huge generation gap in American politics. People over the age of 40 strongly prefer Governor Romney. People under 40 strongly prefer President Obama. Republicans must either adapt to the changing U.S. demographics or brace for more defeats, says analyst Thomas Mann of the Brookings Institution. And the so-called youth vote that was going to fall off was actually, according to initial estimates, a higher percentage of the electorate than in, in 2008. And African Americans uh, stayed where they were at, at 13 percent. It's a long-term losing strategy so conversations are going to be taking place. Unless the Republican Party can broaden its appeal beyond older white voters, diverse Democratic celebrations like this one could become routine. Jim Malone, VOA News, Washington.